Hi everyone, this is Deeksha from Bonsai Labs and welcome to TypeScript series. In this video, we will look at how to perform type checking on props when writing function components using TypeScript with React. We will use an example of financial transaction that has attributes, amount spent, name of the bank, description of transaction, name of the merchant where transaction happened, and the name of category to which this transaction belong. We will render this transaction on the web page using a function component. Here is my favorite online code editor, Code Sandbox. You can bootstrap a React TypeScript project from scratch, which gives you out of the box support for TypeScript inside a React project. Here we have this default app.tsx component, which replaces the React.jsx file format for developing components. We can pretty much delete this file and instead create our own transaction component. We will name it as transaction.tsx and also refactor the code inside the index.tsx file to now call transaction component instead of the app. Here is the stub of code we will start with. Transaction is a function component. We added an import for React and for the existing styles, which is not something super interesting, but currently it returns a div element that is styled using CSS class defined in this CSS file. To be able to add the type checking for the props of this transaction component, we can leverage type alias from TypeScript. So transaction prop is a type we are defining, which should be an object containing properties amount of type number, bank name of type string, description of type string again, merchant of type string, and category of type enum. Now this enum category we will create shortly. We want to ensure when transaction component is called, it should be passed props of type transaction prop. If that doesn't happen, you will be notified with a TypeScript error indicating the incorrect type. Now we can simply return an H6 element to display the transaction information in a single line. The web page just shows the hard coded text and nothing else. You may have noticed these red lines that indicate an issue with your TypeScript code. If you've been writing TypeScript, you may already be embracing these errors that act as prevention step before you face issues at the runtime. The red visual indicator is trying to convey that there is no type called category. And it is correct because we haven't really defined the enum category anywhere in our code. Next, if you go to index.tsx file, you should again see this red line. When you hover on it, it shows you what the error is. Type is missing the following properties from type transaction prop, the amount, bank name, description, merchant, and category. If you were simply writing React instead of TypeScript, you would have never received any feedback on this mistake. This is the power of strongly typed languages. So let's first create a new file and name it as enums.ts. Here we will define category as an enum. Enums are a nice way to define constants in your code. You can create both numeric or string-based enums. Here we need the name of the category, so we will stick with the string-based enum. And don't forget to add export so that you can import the category in other files. All right, so we are all set here. If we go back to transaction component, we will import the category from the enums file. You can see that the red error line vanished, but we still don't see anything except this hard-coded string. So it's time to fix the problems inside the index.tsx file. Transaction accept props of type transaction prop. So it's mandatory to pass amount, bank name, description, merchant, and category. We are passing the value to all these props. And for category, we will use category.food. And there we go. There is another quick thing I will show you. If you also want to have another property or to say attribute of transaction such as date, but you don't want to mandate the callers to pass the date always, you can mark such properties as optional by having this question mark. Since date is optional field, we don't get any errors. On the other hand, if I pass the value of amount as string instead of a number, it shows you this error. So this is how you can have strongly typed props inside your function component. That's all I wanted to cover in this small video. Let us know if there is any specific topic you would like to cover in TypeScript. We'll try to add them to our pipeline. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.